Alrighty. So what we want to do is we want to navigate a path. Okay. First things first. You got where you want to start. So you click that. Then you can go into menu. You want to go new. You want to go new route. So you hit that. All right. Now I want to follow a contour line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of places, a couple of marks along a contour line. This is just for a test. As you can see, I've logged a heap of those in. All right. So you need to come up and hit save. As you hit save, you can change the name. We're just going to do it route three. So we're going to hit enter. That saved it. So we can clear the cursor. So then what you want to do now is you can go menu. You want to go find. Okay, and these are all the things you can go and find. So we're going to find, go into routes. I've got route three. Route three is there. So we're going to push route three. It's giving you all your marks that you're going. And you can go to start. So we hit start. It's going to ask you this. Do you want to go forwards or do you want to go in reverse? So we'll start from the beginning, or you can actually start from the end and go back to the beginning. That's what reverse means. But we're going to go forward. So we hit the forward button. Okay, now it's going to come with this. Engage autopilot in nav mode. Yes, that's exactly what we want to do. So then you've got to go and hit the, the control. Okay, it's all set up, ready to go. Now all you need to do is hit the propeller, and we're off. Okay, it's adjusting itself. It's swinging us around to start the path. The path's here. We can zoom in. Okay, we've zoomed into the path. We can see where our path is. So over here, you can up the speed, lower the speed, put it on pause. So at the moment, I've just turned the prop off. If you caught a fish or something like that, we want to pause for a second. But if you want to keep it continue, just hit the prop button for continue. You've got this little button here. That skips a waypoint. So if I hit that, it'll skip the first waypoint and it'll send us to the second waypoint. So just for an example, okay, keep your eye on the first one. And I've hit it. So now we're not going to the first one. We're going to the second one. So it's skipped it. So you can sit there and you can skip the next one if you want, if you want to go on a straighter path. So that's a neat little feature that you can do on your ghost trolling motor if you want to follow a contour line down a bank. So we're going down this bank here. We're going on the edge of a, a weed fringe. That's what I've set up to. And like I said, you can pause it if you want by hitting that button again. So it's turned the prop off, but yet it's still got our path in lock. We haven't cancelled it. So we can hit the prop again and we're back on it. Up the speed if you want. Lower the speed. So if you want to cancel this completely, what you need to do is you need to go into your menu, hit your menu, you want to go into navigation, hit navigation. Go back in the menu, we can skip or we can restart or cancel. So we're going to hit cancel and that will cancel the path that we're going to do. Cancel, it's cancelled it. The route's still there but it's cancelled the motor from going and, and following this path. So if you don't want to do it anymore, you can just go in and cancel it. And we'll just close that, and we're back to fishing. So I hope this little video helped you out with another little function that you can do with your Lorance Ghost. So until next time, see ya.